we're here with Miss Tammy in her classroom, and uh, Miss Tammy, I want to ask you some questions about the cafeteria downstairs. Okay. I mean, do you think the food in the cafeteria is healthy for the students and staff? Well, I know that there that there are some healthy alternatives because they do offer you know uh, fruit, and they do offer like salads. Um, but I don't know if students choose those. Well, what do you say about the place of the cafeteria? Is it always clean? I mean, oh, uh. Yeah, for the most part, and I know that after every um, uh, break, that you know someone's you know cleaning the tables and sweeping the floors, and of course it'd be a lot easier if the students would pick up after themselves. Cafeteria food, uh, as you all know, uh, we are in process, yeah, improving the school canteen. Yeah, every year you feel little bit changes, difference. Uh, most important thing, we don't uh, sell uh, students chocolate, صح, and uh, soft drinks. Uh, also coffee and uh, maybe tea also. This is for safety, another issue, yeah, for safety and, uh, issue. Soda. Okay, uh, sodas, mafi also we don't have. And uh, we improve also, I think, the food that contains oil, yeah, a lot of fried food. Okay, we have, uh, this year we have uh, plenty of uh, fruits also. Is the cafeteria a clean place to eat for all the students? Of course, after and before that, the clean, yes, you can use it. Do you have any suggestions for the students that eat, to eat in the cafeteria? So, students, uh, um, cafeteria, yeah, it's, um, it's clean, I know that, but I notice that many students, they don't clean or they don't, I mean, they leave the, the things, you know, after using even the menu cover, like chips tray. We have dust bin, the students have to put on the dust bin and the clean the area, it's put. We're emphasizing healthy food, and so the menu is supposed to follow a healthy food um, uh, theme. I know that at one point, I believe it was about two or three years ago, um, high school students could buy soft drinks and chocolate, and I know that that was stopped in order to emphasize healthy healthy eating. Okay, so I do know that there is uh, salads being offered. There's some hot food being offered um, in order to to help with healthy eating. Okay. All right. Uh, about the break timing, do you think 20 minutes is enough for all people to get their food and have time to eat? Okay, it is challenging, okay, to get all of the food in 20 minutes. One of the things that the school needs to look towards and one of the things that we are looking at is possibly breaking apart the break times because right now we have KG breaks, we have elementary breaks, and then we have middle and high school breaks. Now, as the middle and high school grows, which we're getting more and more students in middle and high school every year, it becomes more difficult for the older students to actually get the, the food that they need within the 20 minute time limit. So one of the things that the school does need to look toward is actually breaking apart the breaks for middle and high school and having middle school at one break and high school at another break. Um, and it's one of the things that's actually been looked at over the last two years but it has not been implemented yet.